everybody, welcome back to Tootie's Kitchen. And today we are gonna review the cleaver cutter. Dun, dun, dun. Um, I have seen this in stores everywhere right now and online and on Pinterest and on Facebook, like it is everywhere. So I really wanted to try it. Um, it is a little, I guess it depends on your view, but it's one of the more expensive products that I've tried. It's $15. I happen to get this at Bed Bath & Beyond. I have not looked at the Amazon price, so it may or may not be worth it. We will find out. So, it I haven't unboxed it yet because I wanted you all to be able to see it in the box, but it's a two-in-one cutting board. So you've got the stainless steel knife right here, and then you've got a cutting board attached to it, which I, blows my little mind. Um, I've never used anything like this, so I'm really excited to see if it works and how it does. So it says it's supposed to be razor sharp, and it's spring-loaded with a soft grip, and it's dishwasher safe, which is slowly becoming important to me. The more and more products I do, I'm like, gosh, why am I hand-washing this? Like, if, it, if it's not dishwasher safe, it's, it takes a point off for me. It's got to be dishwasher safe. Um, so it's supposed to quickly and slice, safely slice foods without the messy cleanup. You can do veggies, fruits, cheese, meats. Um, we're going to do, only because I have so many right now, wontons just to see what happens. I've got carrots, I've got potatoes, and I've got a cucumber. So, we're gonna see how this does. It's that time of day where like, I've got dots, so sorry about that. But I'm gonna unpackage this thing, and then you guys are gonna head down here with me, and we're gonna see how well this thing works. I am gonna preface this video by saying, I am gonna do it on top of a cutting board, only because I like having a cutting board when I do videos, it gives me a neutral surface to do things on and if I make a mess with anything it's easy cleanup. I don't have to like wipe down a whole bunch of mess from my countertops. I can just clean my cutting board. So I'm a little counterproductive with this product but we're gonna do this on top of cutting board if that makes sense. This shows like doing it straight into a pot or like even straight onto whatever cheese plate you're doing you know or the salad. So there's that. But why don't you guys go ahead and head down with me and we'll see if this product works or not. Okay, so I finally got it out of the packaging, which uh, was a little uh, hard, but I got it. So what am I looking at? I don't even know what I'm looking at. So it's got a safety on it, which is pretty nice. And I'm just gonna test the blade to see how sharp it is um, with my finger. I don't suggest doing this. I'm doing this if you see my knife video it's the equivalent of doing a piece of paper to see how sharp it is or running it across your arm to cut the finger hair. But if you can uh, run it across your thumb and feel every very lightly, you're not pressing at all, you're just kind of skimming it. If you're just running your finger across it very slightly and you can feel every single one of your fingerprints, that means that it's sharp. If you run it across and it starts to skip some, it means that your knife is getting dull and you need to sharpen it. So pro tip for you but this is very very sharp and so I guess you're supposed to put your product on here and then you clamp down here that might be a better view like that um, so yeah it's good that it comes with the safety because this doesn't say closed by itself it's not like scissors that, autom that automatically go you can close it and keep it closed it's spring loaded so it's always open which, I, if you've got kids, don't let your kids use this. That's just my personal opinion. They're going to very easily cut them, cut their fingers. Um, so it says, for best results during uh, use, apply a firm, quick snap motion towards the end of the cut. So let's do something very easy like these wontons, which have been in my refrigerator forever now because... No, you get a whole pack and you don't need them all. So this is very soft, it's flowery. We're gonna put it on here and we're gonna cut. And that does a good job. I mean, it's a very nice, clean cut. Uh, for something like this, it would be kind of nice because you could kind of measure it. You don't put your finger on here, by the way, this is not a safety tip, but, um, and do the exact same size if you wanted to. I don't know what you would need that for, but I mean, I can put it to the edge and do like the exact same strip sizes if I wanted to. So, all right, so it cuts wontons pretty good. That's awesome. Um, so I'd assume anything doughy, floury, biscuits, or anything like that, if you're doing chicken and dumplings and you use biscuits in your chicken and dumplings, that would be awesome. 
Okay, let's move on to something a little bit uh, more difficult, which would be a cucumber. Um, I can see a problem already, well, kind of, is that if you get a product that is fatter than this opening, it could be a problem for you. And I can already tell you, as someone who uses a knife all the time, I am not very comfortable with this yet. I, I, I am used to having a knife, which is security for me. Um, this kind of feels like dangerous because my hand, when I cut, is always next to the blade, so I always know where both hands at. So now I have to consciously think, okay, where's my other hand at? Which sounds crazy, but it's true. So um, I'm gonna use only a little bit of this because I need to use it for another video, but we're gonna see how it does on like a round, a round product here. Okay, so I have it at an angle because, well, I'm left-handed, so let's try to go straight down and see how this cuts. Okay, so I'm not angry at it at all. Um, actually, I want to cut this down the middle. Okay, so problem number one for me is if I want to cut this so that I can make half moon slices, which is just where you cut it in half um, and then you, then you dice it or slice it, I can't because it's too, well, you know what? I could probably possibly do it like this. Yeah, I can do it like that. That's a horrible cut, but um, if I moved it over some more, again, though, my fingers don't feel safe. Okay, so let's just go back. Let's do this. All right, so for cutting a cucumber, it does a good job. It's a really sharp blade. I will, I'll give it that. And maybe it's because I'm a lefty, and um, to be honest, lefties were very prone to cutting things at an angle, but it definitely cuts at an angle because you're holding it. So like with a knife, you have a solid surface to go off of, this you're holding it. So whatever angle your hand is gonna cut it onto, that's what it's gonna cut. But it does, a, it does a good job. If you are just quickly cutting cucumbers for salad or whatever the case is, I mean, it, it does a good job. I will give it that. It's pretty nifty. Okay, so let's go on to something a little bit more difficult, which would be, in my mind, the next step would be a carrot. There is another flaw here is you would need a peeler for the carrot, but we're gonna just skip that step because we're not gonna eat this. So we're just gonna cut the carrot. And it's a small circular thing, it does a good job. I can do thin slices if I want to. I can do thick slices, I can do angled slices. So yeah, as long as you keep your finger back, I don't know, that's pretty awesome. It does a, I, the more I use it, the more uh, it surprises me. So it does really clean cuts. Um, yeah, I mean, it's doing a fairly good job for what it is. And it, it, it really is kind of blowing my little mind because it's a knife and a cutting board in one, which is strange to me, but I think this would be an awesome product if again you had like limited space and you didn't have a lot of countertops and you couldn't like have a cutting board or if you're in a dorm. This would be pretty nice if you're in a dorm, I would think. Okay, so now I've got potatoes. We're gonna try potatoes. I've got little potatoes that I'm gonna do. Um, and that, that cut right through that little potato. Yep. I mean, I am not mad at this product at all. This product is doing a pretty awesome job. It, it um, yeah, it, it does a good job. I'm pretty happy with it. So why don't you guys come back up here and we'll talk a little bit more. Okay, so my review of the cleaver cutter is that it's pretty awesome. I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it. I really like it. Um, as a chef, I'm very hesitant to use it because I really like having this hand whatever my non-dominant hand is next to my knife because then I always know where it's at and I feel like it's safe and secure and I'm not gonna chop any fingers off. And this makes me have to be very, very aware of what I'm doing. Like when I'm cutting on a day-to-day -day basis, I don't have to look at what I'm cutting because I always know where this hand's at. I can talk, I can do other things, I can give directions. Um, and with this, there's no way that I could do that. I have, my concentration has to be on this because it's solely in your hand your, your, your non-dominant hand has to be close to the product in order to cut it because it's all right here. So having that said, aside from that, which is just my own personal thing, 
I really like this product. It's really, really nice. Um, it's supposed to be dishwasher safe, which my personal opinion and advice is that anything sharp or anything that you have to cut with a knife, don't put it in the dishwasher because you're going to dull the blade a lot quicker than if you were to just hand wash it. There's really nothing um, to this. It doesn't come apart. It doesn't look like it comes apart. And so you just clean it, you rinse it off, you let it dry and you use it. It's got a safety on it, which is a huge, huge plus because it's spring loaded, so it constantly stays open. And I I am really kind of intrigued by this product. Whoever came up with this, I'm jealous of you. I wish I would have come up with it first because it's very interesting. Would I use this on a day-to-day -day basis is the question. I don't know um, because I just don't know. I don't have an answer for that. I, I, I'm gonna have it in my kitchen and where I can use it Occasionally, if I want to use it, it's going to be in my scissor drawer. Um, and I'm going to see how much I use it. And when I do that update video, I'll let you guys know if I use it a lot or not. But so for the cleaver cutter, it's an as seen on TV product. It's supposed to be dishwasher safe. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. It's got a really sharp blade. The cutting board is a nice size. It does round things like cucumbers and potatoes and carrots and it does soft things as well, like the wontons, which leads me to believe that it would do cheese and other things like that. So I would say this is a pretty good product. If you see it and it's something that you have a need for, I would go ahead and try it. I'd pick it up. It was $15. I'll leave a link um, for Amazon down below. It might be cheaper on Amazon. I haven't checked it out yet, so I'll see. I'll put it in the description if it is. And if you're interested in it, go check it out. It's $15. Um, it might be something that is really useful for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed your time here at Tootie's Kitchen, and I hope to see you guys next time. Have a great night, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Whoa.